What's cracking, movie trivia, Schmodown fans? It's your boy C Dub, and today we got the continuation of this anarchy tournament. We got Janine the Machine and Brian Walton teaming up, taking on Matt Atchity and Alonzo Duralde. I'm a big fan of Janine. Brian, I don't know anything about this guy, so I gotta give the slight edge to Atchity and Duralde. But regardless, it's going to be a great match, so let's get this thing started. Team Tournament 2018. The theme is Anarchy. We're going to take competitors' names from a hat, draw them at random, and pair them up. Alonzo Duralde. He's very, he's very good. He's very good. He's very good. That's from that. And Matt Atchity. Ah, yeah. You know, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Yeah. Uh, formerly of Modoc. No teams oh, in their current state will be paired up. This is completely random. The winning team will play the current team champions. Spectacular three. I know for the comments. I know for the comments. Don't count out the machine. She's two and zero. She had two really solid matches. And it's neither one of our faults. So all these teams that are coming around, it's, they're all aiming for one thing. A shot at the Schmodown Spectacular against our current champions, the Shire Wolves. Clark Wolf and Rachel Cushing, they are the champions. They are waiting to see who's going to win this. And there are so many teams out here, too. And these teams, this has been, uh, this craziness has happened here. Because first of all, you have Alonzo Duralde and Matt Atchity, who are the Paddington Two. Now, they've worked together before on what the flick you said. Paddington 2? The Paddington 2. Yeah, I would have gone with Ted 2. That's just me personally. You're doing a Ted talk. <laughs> the Paddington 2. And they are both experienced players. They're going up against the War Machine, which is Janine the Machine, who has gone through the ringer in this tournament in regards to who was going to be her teammate. At first, we thought it was Ethan Irwin. Then, because of either whether you believe it's scheduling or Mike Kalinowski had other plans, Ethan Irwin is not going to be her partner. And then Andrew Guy was supposed to. Andrew Guy said, I do not want to work with Jay Washington and took himself out of the tournament altogether. So now, who's Brian Walton? We don't know. Brian Walton, who is now the warlord, took that moniker from Thad Williams and he is now joining up. We don't know who the war machine is. Yeah, I mean, the name Brian Walton, pretty boring just on its face. But then you look at something like the Overlord and you say, well, wait a minute. What is who's this the Overlord? Get the about? Warlord. What is the, the, the Warlord even better than Overlord? I mean, Overlord seems a little nasty. Warlord, nice guy, just likes to wreak havoc. And that's what we're going to get with the war machine. But going up against Paddington, too, you talk about experienced players. Alonzo Drawley, one of the all-time funniest people to sit next to during a horror movie. He's Ray cool. 2. Ray 2 is gets, funny, too. He, he, he freaks out when he sees blood. Is there going to be any spilled here today? I have a feeling it's going to happen. I just don't know whose blood it is. Well, we're going to find 
find out a little how all the competitors are feeling in this first round matchup. Here we go. We are the Paddington 2. I'm El Rey the Navidad, Alonso Duralde. Uh, and I am St. Mashity. There we go. And uh, we're here to compete in the tournament because we were randomly put together. Randomly. This is supposed to be an easy thing for us going into this anarchy, right? It was ridiculous. ridiculous. It was supposed to be the machine and eat dinner. But then Kalinowski comes in, does what he does, runs to Thad, Thad plays his puppy, and now we don't have Ethan. So I decided to take a page out of the loud Hawaiian shirt wearing idiot Thad's book. They called you a warlord? No, that is not what you are. I'm going to introduce you to a real warlord. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up, Mr. Brian Walton, my warlord with the machine. You can call it a war machine. This is going to be beautiful. Typically part of Modoc, uh, the team formerly known as Team Tomato. Uh, it's mixed up a little bit. I um, think, you know, Gray didn't get matched up with me in this particular tournament, but I'm uh, lucky enough to be with Alonzo. Uh, I've known him for a while, and I'm still willing to do this with him. Uh, Alonzo's pretty smart. Uh, not that Gray isn't, but uh, I'm looking forward to this, and we're in full Christmas regalia because this man literally wrote the book on Christmas movies. I only hope some of that comes up today. Fingers crossed. I know a lot of you are wondering, who is this guy? Who is he? Well, I'm going to tell you who I am. I'm the Warlord. I'm Brian Walton, and you're going to remember that name in this tournament. I'm going to deliver knockouts. I'm going to deliver TKOs. I'm going to earn extra points. I'm going to run circles around so many of y'all that you're going to wonder, oh my gosh, did I even know how to slow down before this? Look, like people think that uh, nice gets uh, last. That, that's not the case. Uh, you know, I, I'm not afraid to spank some people that need it. To quote the great Manolo Blahnik, heels were meant to be stepped on. Ooh. It may be my first match, but it's going to be one you're going to remember. You're going to want to remember it for the rest of the year, because at the end of this year, you're looking at the new team champions. And, yo, uh, little critique, boys. I'm really sorry to have to knock you out. But it matches your records. <laughs> Well, look, uh, the experience of Matt Atchity, he has been that close to being a team champion. The sudden death matchup against the Patriots last season, that close. He, on the legendary team of MODOK, and now he is paired up with Alonzo, who had one match in teams, didn't go his way, but had a really strong showing in last year's free fall. Haven't seen him since. So will there be ring rust, or will he just simply, maybe he won't care because he knows Atchity so well. Then you have the machine. Janine the machine has been up there in the conversation for rookie of the year. Again, became that close in the collision of almost beating Mark Antrico and Stacey Howard. Just didn't go her way, but this is her first match since then. She has already made a name for herself. It's Brian Walton. It's huh? really about what he is going to do. If Brian Walton comes in here, does something like, say, Amara Kanopic does and has the, that rookie magic, then we could be looking at a strong team. Or will the lights get to him? Will he maybe not show up the way some other rookies have and maybe it'll be too much? We just don't know yet. Uh, warlords tend to do their best fighting in the sunlight. They like to show off for their fellow man and woman. So I think the Warlord's going to be just fine. The machine is she well-oiled going up against the Paddington 2. Two fellows who look great in Hawaiian shirts. Well, we got the tale of the tape starting with the war machine you have comic book movies you have 80s movies romantic comedies and just being unknown is that a strength we'll find out but <laughs> i don't believe match. that is a strength. i don't know we'll see then the paddington 2 classics christmas movies and hawaiian shirts and marmalade you gotta give oh, it marmalade i like it all right From argentina i'm ready to get going right. how about you yeah yeah i got it right all right ladies and gentlemen it's time for the movie trivia Schroeder! <laughs> Introducing first! Right to the ring by their manager, the Uber Gladiator Jay Washington, by taking their Schroeder CJ2.
So Jay Washington and his team is making the big bucks, and so now you're going to get their opponent. And their opponents from eight different movie categories. Keep in mind this is a team match, but you are not allowed to rely on the knowledge of your teammate in round one. The question is asked to the individuals. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round one. As soon as one of us asks the question, please, each of you, write down your best attempt at the correct answer on the whiteboard in front of you. When we call you by your name after about 15 seconds, please show what you wrote down to the camera. At the same time, you verbalize your best attempt at an answer into the microphone. And I will remind each team that you have three usages of the JTE rule at your disposal. If you need to hear a question again, you weren't sure you heard it right, or you need to buy yourself some time, use the JTE rule. Each team gets one challenge. And with that, Christian, your ear is unclogged, and we are ready to go. Yep. All right, so with that... Paddington 2, are you guys ready? Yes. War Machine, are you ready? Yep. Then let's get ready to shoot! <laughs> Field is in the world of fantasy science fiction. And your question is, who directed 1996's classic Independence Day? I remember that movie coming out. Phenomenal. Oh, people yeah. could not stop talking before the Super Mario movie really popped. It's a good uh, uh, Roland Emmerich. Yeah, that's true. Eric Griller to Firecracker. Oh, grill on. Pens down, please. Pens down and Alonzo. Roland Emmerich. Correct. Janine. Roland Emmerich. You got it, Matt. Roland Emmerich. And Brian. That's that boy, Roland Emmerich. You got it. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Two. Here's your second question. In the category of crime films, stick them up. What Guy Ritchie film features Tom Wilkinson, Sandy Newton, and Gerard Butler? I believe I can find two phrases there. We can put them up. This is what you would take to rocks. The uh, stick up is the act. Oh, but you made it up. You made it your own. Five. Four. You used to play stick ball. Three. Matt. Two. One. Pens down, please. And Janine. Didn't have it. Didn't have it, Matt. Rock and roll. Uh, Correct. Brian. Uh. Didn't have, Didn't have it, and Alonzo. Rock and roll. Yeah, 4-2. Two. 4-2. Two. Paddington 2 going up by 2. Jay right? Washington, the manager, and I would also remind uh, Brian Walton, uh, he seems crestfallen. It's just one. It's just one. <laughs> he didn't seem very okay. okay. Just lost the title or something. I wanted that extra point, man. I understand. We, we, all, like, look, we all want things in life. And Paddington 2, perfect through two questions. Your next one comes in the world of dramas, and that query is... What 1999 drama movie follows an 18-year-old girl in the 1960s who is committed to a woman's mental institution and also had an actress win Best Supporting Actress Oscar? Do you have any friends named Oscar? Oh, Oscar Meyer is the girl best interrupted. friend. Girl interrupted. It's not a real name. Five, four, Angelina Jolie won the Oscar. Two, one, pens down, Matt Atchley. Uh, girl interrupted, also known as Kiss Your Brother at the Oscars. You got it. <laughs> Brian. Brian. Girl interrupted. Yep, you got it. Alonzo. Girl interrupted. Janine. Girl interrupted. Everybody yeah, else. Uh, really good here so far. And what is our next uh, question here? That's me. Animated. Animated. What studio Ghibli film features a living scarecrow sidekick named Turnip Head? I bet that's what all the kids used to call you in school. Turnip head? Oh, here comes Turnip head Harlock. Yeah. 
I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> did, I, did you hear my feelings? No, I just trying to figure out what the hell a uh, Ghibli is. He seemed like Brian Walton when he misses the question. Five. <laughs> four. No idea. Three. Two. One. Pens down, Brian. Can you use delivery, sir? That's incorrect. Alonzo? Uh, Nausicaa? Incorrect. Janine? Frank and Weenie? No, and Matt? Uh, Spirited Away? No, looking for <laughs> Howl's Moving Castle. Uh, oh, that's a tough first round, I'll tell you that. Yeah, they all had uh, different guesses, all yeah. wagering something, none of them right. Your next question comes from the world of action slash adventure films. What 1973 movie stars Bruce Lee as a martial artist recruited to spy on a drug lord during a deadly fighting tournament? Love this I can tell I love how inspired you were when I see making it. I want to break kneecaps. Enter the dragon. Five. I think they are. Four. Uh-oh. Three. Three. Heads upset, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> One. Pens down, please. And Alonzo. Enter the dragon? Yes, sir. Janine. No, Matt. This is not a charade. Enter the dragon. Yes, Brian. This is Enter the Dragon. You got it. Okay, oh, but there's a miss now. There's a three-point deficit here. And we get to our next one. All right. Comedies is the category. Which classic comedy features the quote, Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. Um, it actually is a way to go through life, and I live by that mantra every day. You did it. Uh, still do it. <laughs> well, not on the inside. You're not on the inside. Oh, I'm looking at these. You're not too drunk. Five, four, uh, three. Airplane? Two, one. Pens down. Janine? Didn't have it. Didn't have it. Matt? Dean Wormer says that in Animal House. That is correct. Brian? I don't need to tell you who said it just to be clever. Animal House. <laughs> and Alonzo? He says it to flounder in Animal House. There you go. Not a ten, six now. Ten, six. 10-6, and the war machine is down by four. Next question mark. Horror Thriller is your penultimate category in round number one, and the question is, who wrote, directed, and starred in the 2015 film, The Gift? You're giving me a, a gift. A gift. Um, no, but I'll get you some. Joel Edgerton. Disciples. I will. You earned it. You Five. Can. Four. I'm going to send you three. this vid on Christmas okay. Day. Okay, two. One. You know my address. All right. Pens down, please. And Matt Ash. I know he played Owen Mars. Oh, that's incorrect. Oh, oh Brian. boy. To get a point here. Brian. Uh, Shamalan. Spelled wrong. Oh, and Alonzo. <laughs> Joel Edgerton. Correct. <gasps> Joel Edgerton. Oh, there you go. Oh, what? <laughs> Staying within four here. Now we get to our eighth question, our eighth final question. It is a Patreon question, and the following question comes to you from Jonathan Peck. Thank you, Jonathan, for supporting the show. And Thank you, Patreon. Jonathan. Thank you for all your tweets on Movie Talk as well. In the category of the 2010s, Jonah Hill and Miles Teller star in what Todd Phillips film about gun runners? You know, you're, uh, War dog. you're not on Movie Talk much these days. You hear this yeah. Todd Phillips is doing this Joker movie. Yeah. It's like an independent thing. Fine. Joaquin, Mark Maron's in it. Three, I like that. Two. Two. One pens down, please, and Brian Wong. You're a war dog now, man. Correct. Alonzo. War dogs. Yes, uh, Janine. War dogs. And war, Matt. Uh, not War Inc. Oh, he missed it. So they, they oh, get boy. Oh, down by three here. That was a big miss by Matt Epstein. Yes, Santa Claus went on vacation a little early in that round. So, and it yep. is only a three-point lead Good for round. Paddington, too. Good they round. Very dominant early on. War Machine hanging around. And they are still well within range in this game as we get into round number two, the wheel round. The wheel of destiny, fate. Perhaps justice for one team. On the wheel are ten categories from ten different corners of the movie Trivia Slowdown Galaxy. We also have the fan favorite spinner's choice and every competitor's dread opponent's choice. Each team is going to get one spin at the wheel. If you don't like what you spin at first, you are allowed one mulligan, and you will spin the wheel again, at which point you must select whichever category you get. There's going to be six questions per category. Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer of a question, you can ask us to give you multiple choice. We'll give you four options. One of them is correct, and that reduces the value of the question to one point. Keep in mind, competitors, there is stealing available in round number two. So if you or your teammate can't get the question right, maybe somebody on the other side of the table will, and they will crew the points. No penalty for missing a question in round number two. Christian and two of the wheel slices 
on that wheel are sponsored by our patrons. The movie Trivia Schmodown Patreon. Check it out today. The sponsored wheel slices today are Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio. Somebody loves Oscar winning actors. Well, that is true. Now, both you guys, both you guys have all of your JT rules. You have both your challenges. And we are going to ask the Paddington 2 if they would like to go first or second. Uh, we'll go first. You're going to go first. All right, Matt, go ahead and give it a spin. Please do not spin the wheel by the peg. Please spin it by the wheel itself. And here we go. Oh, I just thought of something adorable. What if the actual Paddington bear was to attempt to spin the wheel? What kind of hijinks would we get into, you know? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Because he wouldn't do it right. There's the spin by that spin. spin. All right. Uh, there's... Yeah. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. It looks like the wheel has been around with marmalade. It went around, and then we're going to land on... Two thousands of good yeah, meat and Caprio. You want to you want to keep the Caprio? Uh, you, uh, one. Okay. Oh, oh they're fine. spinning away. Not, not, not so much. No, no. Saw the Caprio one time at the uh, pizza place Joe's Pizza on Sunset. Love that. Yeah. yeah. Caprio and a number of his friends that was not invited back to their hangout. <laughs> Here it comes. Um, we could be looking at another DiCaprio adventure. Even Spinner's Choice. Kate Blanchett. Okay. Kate Blanchett. Blanchett. There it is. All right. Kate Blanchett. Mark, you want to go ahead and... Uh, uh, I will. I will ask the Kate Blanchett questions. All right. Do you know Kate Blanchett? I know it's pronounced Blanchett. Ooh. Oh. She, she said so on Ellen. Did she really? All right. Kate Blanchett. <laughs> is, it, is it Blanchett or Blanchett? <laughs> Blanchett, they said. Blanchett? All right. Blanchett. Kate Blanchett. B is the category. And your first I'm question man. is... I don't know things about Kate Blanchett. <laughs> this is your first of six. Kate Blanchett plays a frontier medicine woman who must ally with her estranged father when her daughter is kidnapped in what Ron Howard Western thriller? Can we get multiple choice, please? I can provide that. Is it A, The Missing, B, Wild Country, C, Abducted, or D, Frontier? A, The Missing. One point there for the go. Paddington 2. All right. <laughs> the crowd has to be prompted to clap. Some of them do, in fact, care about those competitors. Your next question. Who starred alongside Kate Blanchet as Hannah's father in the film Hannah? Um... I'm sorry, can you repeat, please? That's one repeat. Who starred alongside Kate Blanchett as Hannah's father in the film Hannah? Uh, multiple choice, please. Is it A, Carl Urban, B, Thomas Jane, C, Eric Bana, or D, Brad Pitt? Uh, C, Eric Bana. One point. They're negotiating the way around KP's category nicely. Yep. Next question for the Paddington 2. What actress did Kate Blanchett portray in Martin Scorsese's film, The Aviator? Catherine Hepburn. There's a two-pointer, and it's 16 to 9, halfway through the Paddington 2's round number two. Next question. What veteran actor portrays Kate Blanchett's blind father-in-law, Sir Walter Loxley, in Ridley Scott's Robin Hood? We'll need a multiple choice, please. And I will have it for you. Is it A, Max von Sydow, B, Christopher Lee, C, Ian McKellen, or D, Christopher Plummer? B? Uh, I believe it's A, Max von Sydow. You believe correctly. Oh, Keep the faith. That's 17 to 9. Yeah. Two more questions. Your next one. I'd like to wake up the audience, if possible. <laughs> That was an odd time to wake them up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Between questions. Who directed Kate Blanchett in 2014's The Monuments Men? George Clooney. Yeah. Two points. Yeah. And their last question in the world of Kate Blanchett movies. Name the film from the synopsis. Tragedy strikes a married couple on vacation in the Moroccan desert, touching off an interlocking story involving four different families. Babel. It is in fact Babel, and that's two more points, and all of a sudden it is 21 to 9. Christian, that's the kind of thing that can happen in the team format. You can get a giant lead if you go first in round number two. Now, the War Machine has a chance, though. So, <laughs> if, if the War Machine that's hits something they're good at here, they got a chance because they use multiple choice couples so many times. But, absolutely. but they can also find themselves in some serious trouble. The more experience of the two War Machines, Janine, right, there you go. The is going to be there. spinning the wheel. Washington. 
Is Jay Washington proud of the spin, not necessarily rooting for a particular category. Is so it going to be 2000? Oh, it is. 2000. Good with that. Brian's saying he's good with it. Right, Brian's yeah, saying he's good with it. I mean, if you want to go, you know, it's like. Okay, they got to go. Here we go, guys. 2000s. 2006 questions in the world of 2000. Here's your first one. Who plays the character of Patrick who tries to steal Clementine away from Joel in 2004's Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind? I've only seen this movie once. I can't remember the third lead from that movie. Five. Uh, multiple choice. A. Mark Ruffalo. B. Elijah Wood. C. Jake Gyllenhaal. D. Tom Wilkinson. B. Elijah Wood. Correct for one point. <laughs> Who plays Bella's first friend, Jessica Stanley, in Anna Twilight? Kendrick. Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick. Two points. <laughs> Twilight question right away, Christian. Yep. You gotta question their taste. All right. <laughs> in, in Almost Famous, William's first writing assignment is to review a concert. By which popular rock band? Stillwater? It's incorrect. For the steel? Uh, can we get a multiple choice? No, no. Um, uh, Almond Brothers? It's Black Sabbath. Wow. he lost his mind. Yeah, all right, next question here. All right. In the Hurt Locker, who played Staff Sergeant Matthew Thompson, who was killed by IED at the very beginning of the film? Oh, it's Eric Bana. Eric Bana. It's incorrect. <laughs> Guy Pierce. Two-point steal. Oh, yes. oh, that's a giant yeah. steal. We have two yeah, questions like, left for them to answer. Left. They're going to have to get some right here, Chris. All right. Who voiced the lead rat in Ratatouille? Pat Oswald. Two points. Okay. Big answer there that cuts the lead to single digits. All right, here is the last question here. All right. In Avatar, who plays the corporate administrator for the RDA mining operation? That's a boy. Uh, boy. Giovanni Ribisi. Two points. Oh! Oh! Fighting back with those last two questions. Seven point lead. Now look, clearly Paddington 2 would be the favorites to win at this juncture, but we have seen crazier things happen, especially in a tournament format, especially when that tournament is called Anarchy. Well, Anarchy is underway, and we are ready for round number three. Mark, how does it work? In round number three, each team is going to give us a series of numbers that can range from 1 to 20. Each one of those numbers corresponds to a different movie trivia showdown category up here at the answer desk. The first question the team receives is worth two. The next question, three. The last one, should we make it up for five points? Keep in mind, teams, the five-pointer is the only question where you are allowed to consult with your teammate. Once we give you the category for the two-pointer, the team must decide which member is going to answer that alone. The opposite member will then have to answer the three-point question. Because the Paddington 2 is currently in the lead by seven points, points, we'll hear your three numbers first and reserve them just for you. Uh, 14, 19, 7. 14, 19, and 7 for Paddington 2. And for the War Machine? 3. 9. 15. 3, 9, and 15 for the War Machine. All right, so the winner of this match will go on to play the winner of Scott Manson Gerber or Andraco and Snyder, but we're going to find out here who's going to win this match as we start with the War Machine who picked category number three for your first category. Hmm. Category number three. I wonder what category that corresponds to, Christian. That would be Kate Blanchett. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's the two-pointer. Two pointer. <laughs> two point <laughs> two pointer. Who's going for it? I'll take it. All right, Brian is going to go for it. Who directed Kate Blanchet in the 2015 version of Cinderella? Uh, Kenneth Branham. Two points. We <laughs> need all these. All right, so Janine is now up here. Janine has number nine. Number nine, Janine, and that's Nicole Kidman. It's Nicole mm. Kidman. Kidman. Right. All right, Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Plays a villainous taxidermist in what family film? <laughs> Paddington. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
So, to take their first lead and to stay in the game, they need to hit the five. However, if they miss it, Paddington 2 will play the winner of Snyder and Draco or Mance and Gerber. Here we go. Romance films. Romance films are your category. In the film, Paper Towns. Who plays Margot, um, who is the teen that disappears? Tom. Um, the Enchantress. What the hell is her name? The Enchantress. Ah. Oh. Crap, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell is her name? Oh, come on. Think, what is her name? Five. Can you please repeat the question? Yep. In Paper Towns, who plays Margot, the teen that disappears? Five. Five. Four. Well, Can you please repeat the question? <laughs> Second repeat. In Paper Towns, who plays Margot, the teen that disappears? The Enchantress! They have one more usage. Five. They have one more, yeah. Four. Three. Divinia? No, wait, wait, wait. One. And oh. your winner! By oh. oh. way of technical soccer! Nice to win one. Uh, I guess the difference is not doing a couple of shots ahead of time. Uh, yeah. Maybe. You, you were know? a little. You were a little more on your game today. And, and we haven't seen you in a year and a half. It's been a while since you've competed, and I felt like you guys kind of came out of the gate swinging. Yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm a footnote at best in this whole thing, but uh, this was a blast. And uh, yeah, I mean, Matt and I have worked together for years at What the Flick. We 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 know what each other knows and doesn't know, and that seems to help. You. And don't sell yourself short, Lonzo. You're at least a foot and a half note. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! But no, you're off to a good start. But are were you a little bit surprised? Uh, at, at playing against War Machine, like how well they did and came back in the last round? Yeah, they, that second round they did really well. We had we had pulled far ahead, but they hit a lot of those questions as two-point answers. But and you had a phenomenal steal. Yeah, that was, I think that made a big, big difference. Uh, so that was, that was fun. You know, the Eric Banner, like, yeah, he doesn't die at the beginning of Black Hawk Down, he dies at the end. So I'll give Walton a little bit of crap about that. But uh, they put on a good one. Uh, you know, I think they had forgotten they had one more JT TE rule to use, but I'm not sure they would have pulled it out anyway, um, because we still had three questions, so yeah. uh, we hadn't even answered that final round. Yeah, we were not afraid to, to be in that final round, but you know, as it turns out, we didn't have to. You know, there's been all this talk about super teams, and there's super teams that have been created in this Anarchy tournament, and I don't really feel like anyone's giving you guys the credit you may deserve. 
I'm not sure I was giving ourselves the credit, but uh, after today, I'm, I'm, I've realized it. You know, part of why we're in Christmas attire is that Alonzo literally wrote the book on Christmas movies, and you know, I see Alonzo every week, and we talk movies, and it's one of those things. You know, he's doing stuff at Filmstruck. Like I forget. Oh right, Alonzo knows movies. I mean, look, all of us in this league do, but there's there's people that you look at and think. Oh, that guy's got untapped knowledge. And so what I'm going to say to everybody else in this tournament, watch out, because i got a ringer here, and I know how to get it out of him, and it's going to be awesome. And yeah, I said that inappropriately, and it's okay, because we work together, and it's cool. It's All right. So now, obviously, you're going to wait and see who you're playing next. It's either going to be Manson Gerber or Snyder and Draco. Do you have a preference on either of these teams that you'd like to face? Uh, I think Manson Gerber, that'll be a better match um, in Snyder and Draco. I, you know, Snyder, that's an empty chair. Oh, ouch. <laughs> uh, I used to work with Snyder at the Wrap. I've known Draco for years. I've known Mance for years. So, uh, you know, bring it. I'm here with the War Machine and Jay Washington. Janine, can you? Can you? Yeah. Thanks. Hi. Janine, obviously that didn't go the way you guys wanted it to. Yeah. I, he assumed that we used all the JTE rules. I think if we had known we had the third one, we would have got there. We were so close. We almost had it. Obviously. And then round two, you spun 2000s. And honestly, like, I feel like that's a category you normally would be good at. And it just you just fell short in that category. Were you surprised at the difficulty of it? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's really broad. You think it's going to be maybe early stuff and stuff that's newer, so you might know it. But it's super broad because it can be so many movies. And how did, how did you feel, obviously, going into that last round, you know, I think you, you forgot how many JT rules you had yeah. or hadn't used. You know, I got ahead of myself. I, I got in there. I knew that I could punch strong, but I, I just, I kind of got overwhelmed. I, I thought we had a little bit more time hearing them counting down. I thought we, I had used three, uh, and just, we were almost there. And it was on the tip of your yeah, tongue. Yeah, Devigny, Delavine, De, isn't that how they, they pronounce Delavine in France? I don't think That's she knows. It's a horrible girl from some kind of malaria. <laughs> Anyways, Jay, obviously, you know, this is the end for War Machine in the tournament. Just, we worked by hoping they would go further. You're actually crying. Oh, and now you still have Ethan Irwin and Savina Graves going on to the next one. All I can do is put my in a wishing well, find a rabbit's foot, or some time of ever shot, because this whole killing down here, me, is horrible. Well, obviously, uh, well, not obviously, the Paddington 2 saying that, you know, I think that they want to play Andraco and Snyder there, yep. too, because Alonzo knows Andraco pretty well, and, and the Snyder obviously has some past history with Atchity, so it, it, it would make sense they'd want them to win, but, you know, don't count on Scott Mance ever. Well, yeah, perhaps I was going to say they just don't want their ears to bleed, because Scott Mance gets very loud and very yes. excitable, yes. and that yes. has to go either way, and this one really could have, too. I mean, it came down to a five-pointer, not the last five-pointer, because Paddington, too, would have had questions to answer as well, but a very solid TKO, good performances yep. by both teams, and again, this is what happens in a tournament like Anarchy. The teams get thrown together haphazardly, I thought we saw some good chemistry on display, yeah. not just with the competitors, but with us here at the announcing desk. I agree with that. I think yeah. day and Atchity, though, these are two seasoned critics. I mean, these guys know their shit, and, they, and you can tell, and they know each other very well. They played together well. Atchity is now a veteran of this league. Mm -hmm. Alonzo is still fairly new to this league, but he was cool, calm, and collected the whole entire time. They're a scary team. None of them, no one 
one's really talking about the Paddington 2 in regards to, well, everyone's talking about, you know, the, the, the big teams that are, the super teams that have been put together, and no one's talking yet about these guys. These guys are a super team. Well, like when people didn't talk about the first Paddington, and it became a box office juggernaut, because that damn bear is so freaking adorable. Make sure you guys check out the movie, Trivia Schmodown, Patreon. Check it out today and select which tier is right for you. We always appreciate your support of the show. Check out the Schmodown Rundown, as well as the movie, Trivia Schmodown, Facebook page. I'm Mark Ellis. Yeah, and he's going to go down this month. That's right. He and I are going head-to-head. Five-round battle. You can only get it on Patreon. That's right. It's an exclusive match. Not going in the record books, but it is going down in history. Going it's in that this record book. You wanted to see myself versus Ellis. You want to go to the Patreon. Go become a uh, patron today. Thank you guys for joining us. It is Schmodown. It is Anarchy, and we are underway. Carrots are going to be chopping him. <laughs> How's it going, guys? If you didn't know about the... Well, that was a pretty good match, uh, par for the course. Um, Janine Bryan, you know, you gave it your best effort. I feel for you on that five-pointer. I, I, myself, I knew it was the Enchantress. I couldn't fucking remember her damn name, Cara Delevingne. It's a tongue twister. But uh, congrats to uh, Alonzo and Matt on a great win. Excited to see who you guys face next. I personally do think you will face Snyder and Draco, but regardless, going to be fun to watch, see what you guys do next. If you like my reactions, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Christopher Woodburn. You can find me on Twitter, Chris Woodburn 83 Facebook, Christopher Michael Woodburn. And if you do Schmodown reactions, trailer re- reactions, come join the MTS Fan Reaction League on Facebook. So until next time, it's your boy C-Dub. Peace.